Okay, today I'm going to make uh, Scott's famous cowboy chili, bachelor chili, never at home chili, low cost chili, but you can eat it. So we're going to start out with 16 ounces of ground beef and go from there. Okay, so I chopped up <clears throat> about a half an onion. I'll throw in a little later after the meat browns because I like it a little fresh. Bring out a little black pepper, Italian seasoning, salt, and garlic powder. Then when we get down to the end, we're going to add some of this Tucson tamale. This stuff is pretty good. So we'll add that in as needed. Meat's just getting going. Okay, we browned up our meat a little bit. Add the onion, let that sit on top. Always put a lid on it, it keeps everything, flavors going together. We get that cooking nicely. I'm gonna add some chili. I'm not gonna drain this because I think it adds more flavor when it's not drained. So I'm gonna use some uh, stag chili, dynamite hot. I don't think that's really necessary because you can always heat it up with something else. I add red kidney beans because I like them. You can leave them in, put them in or leave them out. And I kind of stumbled onto this. I added marinara sauce to it and it seems like it really makes it a lot better. So we'll mix all that up and then uh, 20 minutes, half an hour, should be ready. I added the chili and beans. That's every young man's dream. So I'm gonna put the marinara sauce in. Eh, maybe let it simmer half an hour. Really get it mixed up good. And that's all protein. And there's your finished product. This batch has a little bit of a, a Wendy's taste to it. Just a little bit. Could use a little more salt. And I put did add some chili powder, so I'm going to dump a little bit of this in, but not too much. That's it. You can make this anywhere. I made it in a jet boil. Made it in a frying pan. You can make this anywhere. 